After watching Narcos Season 3, it is normal to wonder who Jorge Salcido was, the man who turned Miguel Rodriguez Orejuela in. Jorge Salcido is a retired captain of Colombia National Army. He was a kid that grew up in a very good environment, and he also had a very good education. He was able to study two careers, economy and mechanical engineer. His father is a retired general of the Colombia National Army called Jorge Salcido Victoria. Salcido entered the Colombia Army in 1982. Soon, he became one of the most successful students and he began to earn the trust of his superiors for his boldness and courage. He was well known for his knowledge in communications, weapons and explosives. In the mid-80s, he was considered a hero by the military for his fight against the M-19 in the Valle del Cauca. And here the question is, why such a successful man during all his life ends up by joining the Cali Cartel? Well, this is the answer. Cali Cartel leaders contacted him because of two reasons. First of all, they wanted Salcido to use his communication knowledge to protect them and their families from Pablo Escobar. And second of all, because they heard that in the past, Salcido hired a group of British mercenaries in order to put an end to the guerrillas, and they wanted Salcido to do the same against Pablo Escobar. Salcido felt that he had to do it. He felt that he had to accept the proposal because Escobar was destroying Colombia, and he felt that it was his duty to participate in Escobar's death. Yo creo que debemos como es, de asegurarnos un poquito, organizarnos un poquito y empezar a mandar muchachos a que quemen casas y a que hagan daños de los políticos, de los senadores, de todas partes del mano. Al militar que nos atropelle, al policía que nos atropelle, a los jueces que nos molesten, a los periodistas. O sea que tenemos que crear un caos muy berraco, muy berraco para que nos llamen a paz. Cuando hay una guerra civil bien verdad que nos llaman a paz, esa es la única fórmula que yo le debo a él. Besides, Escobar killed the Minister of Justice, Rodrigo Lara Bonilla, who had been Salcido's school friend. So that's why Salcido started working for the Cali Cartel. The first operation to put an end to Escobar was attacking him on the Hacienda Napoles, because the cartel had detected that, because of his routine, he was vulnerable there. However, the operation failed, because one of the helicopters that was heading the Hacienda crashed against a mountain and they had to abort the mission. Later on, when Escobar was inside the cathedral prison, another plan was organized, where the objective was to bomb the prison. In order to do this, Salcido went to El Salvador to get the bombs. But when the moment to put the bombs inside the airplane arrived, they realized that the bombs couldn't go through the airplane door. And one more time, they had to abort the mission. After this event, Salcido was on the radar of the authority. So from that moment, he was known by the AKA Richard. After Escobar said in December 2 of 1993, Salcido told his boss Miguel Rodriguez Orejuela that his duty with them got an end and that he was gonna leave the cartel. But Miguel told him that he couldn't leave because they needed him. So Salcido had no option but to stay with them. According to Salcido, there is no way out from a cartel because either you know too much or they think that you know too much. Dicen que quieres irte. Estoy muy agradecido con usted y su familia, pero estoy empezando mi propia empresa de seguridad y mi idea era quedarme hasta que Escobar dejara de ser una amenaza. Y estamos muy agradecidos, de verdad, que lo has hecho también en los últimos años. Por mi familia, por mí. Yo no puedo aceptar tu renuncia, Jorge. Now another question arrives. Why Jorge Salcido decided to betray the cartel? Well, Salcido started realizing that they discard people that they didn't need. People that either knew too much or made several mistakes. And he thought that that could happen to him. Besides, he witnessed the murder of three Panamanians inside a farm close to Bonilla, Aragon Airport. He felt that he went from fighting Escobar to witness a murder and at the end to organize the death of the Cali cartel accountant, Guillermo Palomari. 
so Salcido decided to establish contact with DAA agents. He explained his role into the organization and told them that he would turn Miguel Rodriguez Orejuela in. In total, Salcido spent six years with the cartel, but he hasn't finished because the airplane that was gonna take him to the United States broke down and he had to remain in Colombia for three more days. He barricaded himself in his house with his family, armed with machine guns and grenades because his life was in danger. When finally the DEA arrived to take him to the United States, they told him, you are with us, we will protect you. Just in that moment, he took the beeper that he always carried with him and turned it off. The day he left for the United States, he was inside the airplane, looking through the window and admiring his beloved Colombia. He watched it till his good. He knew he would never come back. Salcido entered the United States Witness Protection Program with his family, and he's been there for over 20 years. He had to change his name, and nowadays he works as an engineer. Salcido said that it wasn't easy to adapt to his new life especially to be able to earn the livelihood for his family. Luckily, he was able to create his own company, but the first five years were complicated for his wife and daughters. When Salcido left Colombia, his daughters were little. For that reason, he dedicated his first five years in the States to take care of his family's security and education. His wife was a lawyer in Colombia, but she couldn't work on that in the United States. So the first thing she did was to learn proper English. She became a full-time student. Salcido worked as an advisor for Narcos Season 3. He met with the showrunner Eric Newman to ensure the accuracy of the events. Salcido also says that he doesn't feel proud of his past as a member of the Cali Cartel, but he is proud of what he did to help in Miguel Rodriguez Orejuela capture and to take down not only the Cali Cartel, but also a corrupted government. I hope you enjoyed the video and I would like to know your opinions about what Jorge Salcido did. Do you believe he is a traitor or on the other side would you have done the same? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe to have the best information about the Narcos.